here is an um, absolute testament to tremendous defence from the Shenfield team. Right, Robinson again, putting pressure on another superb tackle. Clip to the right post, here's a chance. Goal! Right, Robinson score. And the writing has been on the wall, and it's that man, Atherton, again. The top scorer for Wright Robinson gets his name on the score sheet and marked at the back post. Wright Robinson lead 1-0. Okay, watch the uh, assist from Enzo. Badia Bio here. You can see the little chip. Great awareness. But the composure and the touch from Atherton. I, I had a slight pause on the 60 goals in 10 rounds that I knew it was six around. Oh, oh he's, he's, the referee says that's good. He's awarded the goal. And, well, the Shenfield players are, are saying that the goal he had in his hands, but I don't think he did. No, I'll we'll come back to that so. in a second, John, but I, so. I, I don't think he had that in his hands. Here's the replay. Yeah. Let's watch this again. A little flick on. There it is. Poor clearance. But here it is. He hasn't got control of it. He got himself in trouble, almost tried to pull him back. And it's Ellis Pacer, the captain. Yeah. Um, Pacer with the corner. Oh, oh it's got to be. Oh, what a header and a goal. The goalkeeper almost saved it. It's McClarty. And it was McClarty. Uh, yes. Left back in at the far post. And he was left alone for a free header at the back post. And right, Robinson College surely have this match sealed up now. They lead by three goals to nil. Well, it's too easy. Ball drifted in by the captain, Ellis Pacer. There, totally unmarked. Free header. Bitterly disappointing. How off? He's uh, he's obviously looking out. Here's uh, Nsangu, and here's here he goes. Oh, that's beautiful. Superb individual goal. And well, really was Junior and Sangu. And he's given us a dance as well. Here we go. <laughs> Picks it up in his own half and off he goes. And uh, well, he's got the pace, he's got the power. Nice and he's also touch. got a bit of skill though, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he has. Got great skill, great composure. So again, one of those surely on the list. And, and oh. there's a shot. Oh! Shot from distance. Ishola. And it's Farid Ishola who scores goal number five. And oh, what a strike that was. And um, from long distance. Well, there you see, the Shenfield give the ball away. And uh, well, it's not the first time they played a square ball or, or sort of into the middle of the pitch. A couple of touches, a little slight deflection off. And here he is taking a corner just for good measure. And he's put it into the heart of the box, and it's going to be a free it's header. Carbon copy again, isn't it, with uh, McClarty? <laughs> McClarty again. <laughs> this time he had somebody on him. Yep. No worries. I'll just I'll just put that one in anyway. But he and, sort of uh, stood there. Didn't really come in and dominate and come smashing through, did he? he? Almost sort of stood there, and it. Yeah. I think the challenge didn't really come in as he expected. I mean, we'll have to see it here. Here it is. Just simple goal, but oh not yeah. really just much of a challenge, was it? Just not marked. Uh, disappointing, but. Yes. Pacer with the corner. Final minute. Oh and yes. There's another corner. That's not. And no, it's surely that's not again. a hat trick of headers at McClarty. It is. And he's struggling. <laughs> That's a hat-trick of exactly the same <laughs> corner, the same header. That's incredible. 7-0, brilliant. Th three goals. Three a hat-trick of headers goals, like yeah. that. So, uh, Isn't that? I don't think <laughs> we'll see that again. Yeah, that's, there you go. And, well, at least this time he was under a bit of a challenge. Chuff with his Absolutely. performance. And the referee has blown. And right, Robinson College, well, they have absolutely smash this final what a result and there's big hugs and big smiles all around so with me is martin howarth who's the coach for the right robinson a team uh, been a pretty good day for you guys hasn't it yeah it has been an excellent day yeah uh, very different fortunes to, to last week when we went to the britannia and we were on the receiving end of the scoreline not dissimilar to that so yeah it's nice to be uh, on the other side yeah. today 
So what, what, what are you guys having for breakfast up there? Because, you, you, you know, I don't think it, me and John Scales were on the commentary and we're saying it's unprecedented to see a team win the B team and the A team because quite often the B team will contain A team players. You know, if say if an A team goes out in the first round, you've got the opportunity of putting some of those players in the B team competition. But obviously you've been, you know, you've had both your teams going all the way through, which is pretty unprecedented in this competition. Yeah, I mean, we've been very fortunate. We've got a very strong year group. This year, in particular, we obviously we have a big cohort in Year Seven as a school. I think we have in excess of 380, so it gives you something to choose from. Uh, we've actually got a decent C team as well. Would you believe? In fact, in the Manchester League Cup, we, the C team played the B team in the semi, and then we played the, the B team in the final. So, yeah, that gives you some idea of the strength and depth that we've got. It's just one of those years, I guess. Yeah. We'll, t we'll take it. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and you had a team as well that was scoring goals for fun. Like, you know, they've all gone back into the change room now. But, you know, you had a B team that was got goals written all over them. The A team, you know, it, it really must be, give you a great feeling. And, you know, where do you go from here? You, you, you continue with these players into the next year now. Yeah, it's, it's nice as a manager to have goals all over the team, like you say. So we're not relying on one person. Uh, and so we've had teams in the past where it, a lot has hinged around a centre forward, but this this team has got goals from defence, midfield, and attack. So yeah, we've high hopes for next season. We were a little bit disappointed. We just got knocked out of the Elite Cup in Northampton in the semi-final one 0 We just got nudged out there, and uh, it's the same group of boys. So I think next year, I think some of these boys will probably get picked up now. So we'll be aiming more at the Elite competition with, with this squad you know yeah. I, I should imagine well Martin I'm, I bet that coach going home is going to be absolutely rocking this afternoon so uh, you can have all on holding them keeping them under control we're, up, we're on the train <laughs> <laughs> well great stuff Martin have a safe journey back thank you very much well done Mike Robinson